Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a first impression on two products. The Maybelline Fit Me Dewy and Smooth Foundation and then the e.l.f. 16 hour camouflage concealer. Um, I just thought that I would do just a little first impression on these two products and maybe kind of update you during the day on how they both wear. The um, Maybelline Fit Me Dewy and Smooth Foundation is for normal to dry skin, but my skin has been a little bit drier in the winter, so I thought I would tr try it out. I have been kind of liking a little bit of a dewier look lately, so I thought I would try that foundation out. I did use a normal primer and moisturizer under the foundation, and um, I did use a new sponge, but that shouldn't really matter. Um, so I did do a little bit of a first impression on this sponge. So if you'd like to see what I think about this foundation and concealer, then just keep watching. Alright guys, so we are going to get right into the tutorial. I'm going to prime my face. I don't have a new primer today, but I do have some things to try out. So, so I do have a new foundation to try out. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Dewy and Smooth Foundation in Buff Beige. Now this does say normal to dry skin, so we'll see how it goes. I have been kind of liking a dewier look, so I'll probably end up putting a little bit more powder in my T-zone just to kind of help with my oils. But I wanted to try it. Dewy and smooth kind of sounds like what I'm going for. And because it's winter, I have been a little bit more dry than normal. So we're gonna try it out. I also purchased a new sponge. I already wet it. This is the Eco Tools Fresh Perfecting Blender. And basically it's like infused with antimicrobial, microbial? It so basically it's infused with antimicrobial silver. So it's supposed to like keep fresh longer and it's good for skin protection, cruelty free, dermatologist tested, tree free paper, and 100% vegan. So I did wet it and I'm gonna use it with this foundation. Now this foundation is probably gonna be like, ooh girl, um, but the concealer is super light so I feel like I'm just gonna like roll with it. Now this doesn't have a pump, so just kinda keep that in mind. I don't know if I'm like super into that, but okay, I feel like it doesn't look that bad right now. But, but it will. Oh no, I don't wanna. I don't wanna drape on my sweater. You guys like my sweater? <laughs> it's John Raphael, Holly at the Moon. Ian got it for me, I think it's hilarious. Um, if you're unfamiliar on Parks and Rec, John Raphael is hilarious. He's one of my like favorite characters. He's so funny. So it was really nice. I cried when he gave it to me. I've been going through a lot and he bought me this sweater. Look <laughs> at the oxidation. Oh geez. Okay. Anyways, I cried when he gave me this sweater. I've just been going through a lot and it was just so nice. And he surprised me and I cried. Alright, so already I don't like the smell. The color is horrendous. but the coverage is terrible. What's happening here? Oh, it has sunscreen. Okay, that's the smell. It smells like sunscreen. Or like, you know that like Olay lotion that your mom probably used? <laughs> it's the white bottle one and it has sunscreen in it. I feel like like everybody used that when I was younger. Like everyone's mom had to borrow all of that stuff. It smells like that. Okay. So I actually think this looks kind of nice. Even though the color is horrendous. I don't know if you can see that on camera or not. Yeah, you can. Okay, well, you know, I'm gonna wear this sweater for a minute today, so I'm just gonna do another layer just to see if it can build. 
And basically I just take, I just pour some on the back of my hand and then use my finger. Some people like to use their beauty blender to like put it on their face, but I feel like that waste product. So this is how I do it. This is why I hate buying online. Look at that, that color. I can't, definitely gotta get my ears. Okay. So honestly, I think this sponge is nice. It has like a nice flat part. Kind of reminds me of the Morphe sponge a little bit. Um, I would say like medium coverage. I would say that's two layers of that is like medium coverage. One layer is like light. It actually looks pretty good though, like nice and dewy and healthy looking, which is kind of what I was going for. Okay, so I also have a new concealer to try out. This is the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer and I'm in the shade light sand. This is supposed to be like a dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape, so we are going to see. Definitely looks like the Tarte Shape Tape. And there's a lot of product on there. So. And then, <laughs> it's like really light. So, which is fine, because like I said, my foundation is like, oh my god, it's turning darker, you guys. It's turning darker. So whatever, I'm fine that the <laughs> I'm fine that the concealer is a little light. It'll look like we cream contour. <laughs> okay. Whatever. We are making it work, y'all. We're gonna make it work. Make it look like we cream contour. <laughs> I hope I like this concealer. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Definitely help lighten that up a little bit. So far, I don't think I'm caring for the concealer. It's good coverage. But I'm pretty sure it's sinking into my pores. So looking at myself in the mirror, I look really, I, I think it's the concealer. I don't think it's the foundation. I look like really dry, which is weird because that was a dewy foundation. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my face, and we are going to chat about these products. All right, guys, so I have finished all of my makeup, and um, after the setting spray, I don't feel like I look as dry, but I still look really dry, and I have a feeling it's the concealer. I don't think I'm really going to enjoy this concealer, to be honest. Um, I don't really like what is going on in my skin and I didn't think the foundation looked as bad as it did after I put the concealer on so I'm pretty sure it's the concealer. I will try it with some other products though. Maybe it's just like the some ingredients like if you have a water-based concealer it doesn't work with an oil-based foundation. So maybe that's what happened. So I'll definitely try the concealer with a different foundation and the foundation with a different concealer and kind of do that thing. But as far as first impression, I really liked the foundation, but I didn't really like the concealer. And I actually really liked the sponge. I think this is a nice sponge, especially if you don't want to like purchase from Morphe or something like that. This is a great alternative for their like contour sponge. Um, and I don't think it was very expensive and it's supposed to be like antimicrobial. So that's a plus. And basically that finishes up my first impression. I will do a little bit of an update before I go to bed and kind of let you know what I thought about the products and how long they lasted. All right guys, so I am back with an update. It's like eight o'clock at night. I've had this on for like 10 hours. And honestly, I'm a little bit of a slick, but 
Um, Ian said that my skin looks pretty good. He said like this region here like actually looks like smooth. So who knows? Don't mind my appearance, I like picked off my makeup. It's free. <laughs> I, I think I would like this foundation if I use a different concealer, maybe like a lighter coverage concealer or something a little bit more moisturizing and then kind of packed on the powder. I think that's how I would wear this foundation, making sure that I put powder in my T-zone. I mean, your girl's like kind of oily. So I'm not like a slick, but it's definitely coming off. The appearance of it goes like my bronzer is still on, my eyebrows are still on. I definitely want to try the foundation without the concealer. I don't think I'm going to be a fan of this concealer. I will continue to try it with different foundations, but I don't think I'm going to be the way that my eyes looked when I first put this on. Now I did get a good look at myself in some natural lighting like in the car about two hours after I put this foundation on. It looked so good. It looked so good. So I think this may be one of the foundations that I might do a review with. The only problem is I got my complete wrong color. It is so dark for me. Um, I definitely like this better than the matte and poreless one. I'm not really a fan of that one. It's just like too matte. It sucks like all the life out of your skin. This one, it leaves you, like I said, Ian said my skin looks like really nice and smooth. And I think I look dewy and I might be a little oily, but I, I really don't think that that's a big deal because I get oily anyways. So as long as my skin looks good, then I'm into it. So that is how I feel about the foundation and concealer. So we will wrap up this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I hope you guys have a great day or night wherever you are. Toddy bye.